actions on the grid are made up. Richard Howe, rightfully so, takes up his spot on the back of the grid. He's been around long enough to know that he can't take up his spot if he doesn't leave the pit lane and line up in the right order correctly to get around to the grid. Not too far away. Jamie Westaway would love to sweep from the right-hand side of the track there. But Cam Ballas, clutch take up, just walks it off the line. Does a beautiful job. Moves over to the ultimate line there. And the number one, the Osfield Oil Distributors, has to just lob in behind Mark Torbitz and Adam Brewer. Begin the argument. And it will be Mark Torbitz that runs up to turn three. Just holds on to that third spot on the road. But Brewer's going to be pretty desperate to make something here. The number seven, a big dive from Carter Fox there, who we saw numerous times at Sandown uh, off on the dirt, out in the boonies. But Carter Fox in the number seven holds nicely there and uh, ultimately gets through on the, uh, the 15 of Andy Tudor. Andy Tudor's not taking any of that. He's going to show the nose again there as well. As we see the mid-pack here, there's Richard Howe. He's pushing pretty hard there, Richard. Got to get back up the sixth place, stand it, starting out of uh, off the 17th grid spot. He drives upside the Keyway cars. A spinner. There it is. Mark Pitino goes around in the side link car. Beautifully, beautiful livery. And uh, there he goes, Pitino and co. Side link pro LED. Gets back underway again, albeit a tail end Charlie in. Car number 44 is our race leader, Cameron Bella. Not with number one on his side. That has got uh, taken over onto Jamie Westaway's car. And we're seeing car eight a drive through penalty for a start line infringement. That's interesting. Took up the back of the grid. So car eight will be coming down in lane to uh, get his drive through penalty for start line infringement. Maybe uh, pit lane was closed when he left the track. But here we go, back at the front. Triple Eight Home Loans. Pit Lane Clothing, 944s. Cameron Bella just coming under big pressure now. The Osfield Oils strip distribution. Porsche, James Westaway. And this is where the battle is. There's certainly a battle raging Around the mid-pack where the number eight of Richard Howe is, the number seven of Carter Fox there as well. Have a look at this over the ripple strips. Cambella just starting to look a little bit rattled there. Jamie Westaway applying the thumb screws. Got him right where he wants him. Pick him off at any minute now, but Cambella will certainly show the pace and they're both taking nice late apexes to get the best possible speed down this chute. And that's... Beautifully done there by Cambella. Not defending, taking his line. Make sure he can flow the car as well. And what it's doing is allowing Jamie Westaway to do exactly that as well. And what that will do with Jamie is that it will draw him into having to make the move. Whereas Cameron Bella gets the power down. Beautifully goes into the second last corner. The right-hander. Another right-hander. And we run down the straight here. Jamie's flowing the car nicely. And Mark Torbitz and Adam Brewer just in the back behind these guys. And we go one and two across the line to complete the second lap of this nine lap journey. Back through the field, there's the number eight of Richard Howell. And right in behind him is Andy Tudor and uh, Vlad Kennedy. And they fan out across the track, Howe trying to take the inside line, the number eight. In fact, he looks as though he's just let the number 15 through there. There was no uh, no battle. He might have noticed his, uh, his number with the black flag. The 41 looks up the inside there as well. And that's Vlad Kennedy. Here comes Jack Attlee, just at the back of the this group. It's the number eight. Oh, Richard Howe just slowing down there. Jack Attlee looks to the inside in the number 35. And we'll go the long way around of the sweeper here, getting dragged into it. We, talk, we saw him before the race in the interview just saying how important it is to get the balance right with the 944s. Oh, the 41 now slowing. So that's Vlad Kennedy. He's now slowing dramatically. Pulls over to the driver's left of the track. Richard Howe with the MPC logo emblazoned on his rear guard there. So uh, MPC... Quite a famous uh, 
Car Preparation Company. I went three wide through the top of the S's at the top of the track coming onto the straight. This is the uh, the 41 of Vlad Kennedy. He looks to be very uncomfortable in the, uh, the driver's seat there looking around in his lap there. So not too sure what's gone on there as we go back to the front of this race. Here's Mark Torbert and Adam Brewer. This is for position three. The Triple Eight Home Loans. Porsche 944s. So uh, what we have seen is a whole lot of uh, blend line infringements for this category. So car 31 is Adam Brewer in this battle. Car number 56, Josh Brisbane. And we've got a safety car out as well. So some uh, penalties coming for blend line infringement. I wonder if that's for when... Uh, they were exiting the pits for the start of this race, so very much jumping on any uh, indiscretions around the rules, which uh, which was being asked by the categories to uh, the officialdom to keep an eye on it. And I dare say the safety car is for uh, Vlad Kennedy stopped uh, in the number 41. Richard Howe has come to pit lane now to serve his penalty. And we go safety car and the triple eight home loans, pit lane clothing, 944 competition for this morning this is what happened yesterday now the cars need to be very aware on the restart about overlapping the uh, Motorsport Australia rulebook says there is to be no overlapping until you get to the control line which in this case is the start line the start end finish line at Winton Motor Raceway and there's a debris on the track as well so uh, a little bit of clean up to be done whilst we're under safety car as well and uh, car 15 was uh, Andy Tudor. Had a uh, bit of uh, panel damage on the front of that car. There's Vlad Kennedy just getting out of the number 41. So that's on driver's left heading into the, the water tower. A very vulnerable spot, often a place where cars will go off. And that's why race control have decided to bring the safety car out and uh, giving a bit of... Uh, a kick of a rock or something like that, which is never a good idea in driving boots. They're so thin they don't offer any protection for kicking rocks around there. But Vlad just wandering back to the first point of defence, getting into a safe spot there, strolling over the, uh, the sand pit. There's our safety car. We'll pick up our race leader, Cameron Bella, Jamie Westaway, Mark Torberts and Adam Brewer, the top four. Then Michael Westaway. Andrew Jackman. Be interesting to see if we can uh, find what it was, a part of car 15, the white uh, 944 of uh, Andy Tudor to see what the, the debris was there. It certainly got a bit of damage on that uh, left front quarter. So uh, may have been a bit of trim falling off the car around that, uh, where they are now on track, obviously the coat tire sign in turn four. Jack Attlee in the number 35. Good lane clothing. Liveried car. The whole field now completely under control. And the uh, the recovery crews here yesterday were absolutely immense. Their uh, ability to remove a car, like they have done with Vlad Kennedy, tuck it away and uh, allow the racing to go on is uh, second to none. They've done a brilliant job here uh, with recovery so far this weekend and uh, always with the focus to get the, the race back underway. There's the front of the car, 15. So that looks like it might have been damaged pre-existing because there's a bit of race tape hanging on there as he goes around the top end of the circuit. And... Uh, Come right back under control of the safety car. We'll see if we can get a good look at it. It looks as though it's accelerating away now. Lights are off, so heading in. Great to see it only out for that one lap. Of course, welcome everybody joining us live today on Blendline TV. Blendline.tv forward slash live. Check it all out on YouTube. And uh, many of the categories are streaming it there. Facebook pages as well. Let everyone know we're going racing if they can't make it to the track here at uh, Winton Motor Raceway. Certainly join us online as the green lights and flags around the track get us back underway 
And away they go. Everyone just doing exactly what they have to do. Line of stern with each other after some penalties on restarts yesterday and 944s were, were dished out. It's very difficult one to come back from. A 30-second penalty, and we saw Jack Attlee, who ultimately got home in seven. As Jamie Westaway looks to go wide around Cameron Bella. He's got himself in a very good position on the restart, the number one. Right in behind the 55 here of Cam Bella. He's got to go with him. He cannot let Cam Bella ride off into the sunset or the rising sun as it is here this morning. Absolutely magnificent day here at uh, Winton. And have a look at Mark Torbett's. Mark Torbett's looks down the inside of the number one. Now, he wants to go through in the black 944. Been sitting there in P3. Wow, look at the number one showing the nose. Left and right, Cameron Bella just bobbling around in the uh, 55. And there's the 74 of Torbett's. He's got Brewer also along board, alongside there. There is some blend line infringements that are going to go out. And Brewer is one of them at the end of this race. So we'll possibly see that a time penalty. So, as I said, it was the 31, which is Adam Brewer, the 56, which is Josh Brisbane, the 35, which is Jack Attlee, the 44 of Mark Fadino, and the uh, number 8 of Richard Howell have all got blend line infringements. So, poor old Jack Attlee got one for a restart yesterday now on blend line infringement this morning. So, uh, popping it left, right and centre. As we watch the front of this race, Brewer looks at the outside of Torbett's. Torbett's running his own race. He's got eyes for Jamie Westaway at the moment, but the front two have just managed to ease that gap out. We're on lap seven. Nine laps is the journey here in this race for the uh, Triple Eight Home Loans Porsche 944 Challenge. It's a great bit of action here, Mark Torbett's just getting the power down just enough to hold any charge from Adam Brewer. Adam Brewer crowds all over the back of the 74, particularly around this part of the track. If they look left and right, the AVI technology Porsche of Adam Brewer really giving Mark Torbett's the going over now. The 74 working very hard, but flowing the car, taking the ideal line if Adam Brewer wants to get through, he's going to have to get through by throwing it in an alternative plan to the uh, the ultimate racing line in these magnificently balanced 944s. Torbett's now crowding the corner, but drives off the corner well. This is where he's got his car set up beautifully for to ultimately hold on to a fairly tight line going into the corner, but driving it off the back of the corner. The number 74 is ideally set up for that at the moment. It's a change of direction. He's got it going well. A little bit of understeer there. It's evident coming onto the straight. You can see he goes out onto the ripple strip, whereas Adam Brewer is not using the, the ripple strip there. This is going to test Mark Torbett's now because Brewer looks to the outside. This is what we're talking about. There's an opportunity to, to push through there, but Torbett's holds on. No problem with what he is doing at all. He is leading this. It is not his job to make the passing manoeuvre. And what it is doing is it's backing it up for Michael Westaway and ultimately Tony Westaway to start joining on. This is for third in the race, so you can see why Mark Torbett's is pretty keen to hang on to it. And there's that just draws away off the corner there, Mark Torbett's power down, which really is the secret to Winter Motor Raceway. It's all about being able to get the power down once you exit the corner. It's about being able to all the way back to those rear wheels and get the power down nicely. This one's gone off in the, uh, the dirt there. I'd say that's going to be Cameron Bella, who is under immense pressure now. So Jamie Westaway is the fastest car on the track, and that was the last lap around, a 34.96, something that he couldn't do in qualifying. So this is tremendous. Jamie's been able to unlock a 134, and that is why the uh, Cam Bella in the 55 and Jamie Westaway in the number one have been able to drive away for this battle for third place as our race leaders point towards the main straight now. Here's this is the battle for third, fourth, fifth and sixth weighing in on it now. As we see Michael Westaway, there's Tony Westaway off the back there. And we've got one more lap to go. Adam Brewer knows it too. He has pulled out and this is exactly how they've done it the last 
nine lap or eight laps in a row, now nine times. And Mark Torbitz comes off the one-two complex very nicely indeed. Have a look at this, Michael Westaway showing the nose now to Adam Brewer. So not only has he got it going on right in front of him, Michael Westaway is trying to grab his attention as they come around through turn four. And this is on, has been for eight laps now. Adam Brewer couldn't get Mark Torbett's off the start and he's pretty much had to follow in the wheel tracks of the number 74. Of course, Porsche Cars Australia, big part of the support package for this category. Every car with the Porsche banner across the window. Here it is alongside now. He's left it very late in the race, but Brewer makes it stick for the moment. Torbitz has got the inside running, and this is going to be the drag race here as Torbitz just runs out down the middle of the track. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring Michael Westaway in on onto this as well. We cannot forget that there's also a race at the front with Bella and Westaway, but have a look at that. Eight and a half laps in, and Brewer has gone through on Torbett's. He picked that car to pieces. And this is the final two left-handers. Mark Torbett's. Oh, it's a bit of a wobble there in the 51. Torbett's not being able to make it onto it. But we go to the winner, and it's going to be Cameron Bella in the number 55 over the one of Jamie Westaway. One second behind. Who gets to the line in P3? It's going to be Brewer to Torbett's. And that gap is uh, tiny at the finish of that one there. So what a great battle for one and two as Jamie Westaway just draws alongside Cam Bella and says, thanks for that, mate. Good one, I'll catch you in the 10 lapper this afternoon. And uh, the rest of the field just wind down. Cameron Bella sat behind the number 74 for eight and a half laps, sized him up, worked out exactly where he wanted to be and put the nose in and Mark Torbett's Opened up the wheel. He certainly had been driving his own race to that point once he saw that... Actually, the uh, result has now jumped around the other way. It's showing Brewer backwards because he had that penalty applied. So it does see Mark Torbett's will go into position number three. So he takes the, uh, the third place in the race there as well. So getting, uh, getting all finished off the number 41 there. So, confirmation, Bella, Westerway, Torbett's, Brewer goes back to fifth, then we see Tony Westerway and Michael Westerway in there, and uh, Brewer will go back to P6. So, uh, just seeing Mark Rodino on board, just trying to get number 41 fired up. But that will, uh, that's the result for the second race for the weekend for the Triple Eight Home Loans Porsche 944 Challenge. And they will be back on again later on today for their second race over 10 laps at 12.40, starting at 12.40 for their race this afternoon. We've got plenty of action coming to you right throughout the day. Next on track is the Hyundai XLs. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 